go. Welcome back. Another episode, Rare Talks. You already know what it is. Come like, on. comment, and subscribe. Yeah. The best co-host in the world. Jeez, the best co-host ever. You get me? Man, like, real friend in the building. And today we have a special guest. Come very, on. very special guest. Very special guest. Very, very Legend. special guest. Legend in this Come team. Come on, you get me. Come Foundation on. out here. Introduce the yourself. The artist TV, Block 5 Entertainment. You Jeez. get me? Yeah. Running around these streets when my chameleon was on this thing. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, man. Set it straight away. Oh. So how's it going, though, man? How's it going, Boy, D, man? I'm just there starving. You get me? No one wants an interview with the artist because it gets... Peak. See, mm. see. Come on, speaks the realness, yeah? <laughs> yeah, me. I ask them questions that the real Donnies want to know. Trust not me. here for the industry. Yeah, real talk. Real uh. talk. I like that. I like that. So what? Who, like, all right, cool. Let's get straight into that, innit, Car? Um, with your with the interview, with like the interview platform you've got, yeah, who runs from you, innit? Like, what artists run from you, innit? Big man. Bear artists run from me. You're going to have to give me some names and I'll tell you who's running. All right, cool. There's too many. The list um, long. Have you got? Uh, uh, what about? Have you? Have you had like had a discussion with like K Coke? Look at that. Mm. Straight in there. Yeah, I've had bare talk with K Coke. Yeah. Me and K Coke had um, DMs from three years ago. Yeah. Telling me that he's coming on my channel. He said it's all love. Yeah. He said he's going on holiday. The last time I heard from him, and when he comes back, he's coming. See I still ain't seen him. See him so what I'm words. saying is, let's get that straight. Since I was told by the man himself, and let me get you so you know, yeah. I know the history. Yeah. Because I was there. Come I on. was listening when he's talking about spider snitching on the block. Yeah. I was talking when he done that mad. I mean, I was about when he done that madness where the youths had him in the barbers. See People him. still want that answered, big man. Yeah. I was there when he went through his prison sentence, you get me? I was there when he was talking about nines and turkeys on the block. I want the answers. Yeah. A bag of other people want the answers. Yeah. But since he told me he was going to come sit with me, I've seen him sit down with my man from America. That, what is it, Flad? Yeah. I even see him the other day on this guy. What's his name? Something English. What's that English guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you're talking about that... Um. The English, that English. Oh, one. James the, English. Yeah, James yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I Scottish, see him sit, Scottish guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then not even a week ago, I see you down a sit down with Tricky. Yeah. So what's going on? What everyone else can get their interview, but me. But the hardest can't get his interview. Come what on, do you think it is up. that people are scared? That, um, in, they want to interview. Why? Why do you think they're scared? I ain't got a clue. I just ask questions. You get me. But you think that your questions are hard hitting, and people get they get scared. I just want. think my questions are real. Yeah. I'm not up there to ask you about your mixtape because we've all heard it. It weren't all that. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? I'm not up there to beg your friendship because I don't know you and I'm not your friend and yeah. you're not my friend. I'm asked there to, because there's people out here that are really living this life. Yeah. Young youths are dying. Just you me. get me? Knives, guns, and none of them are believing your lines. It's true, though. But I heard your lines ain't real. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to just one rapper. I'm saying there's a lot of them. There's yeah. real rappers. Let's get it straight. There's bare real rappers Come that on. have lived that life. But do you think being a real rapper, it, it, it's a it's a glorifu- it's a thing to glorify though? No, nah, not at all. Anyone who's running around with a gun or a knife, that ain't glorifying. That's mm. fucking dead. Mm. You shouldn't be bigging up that because yeah. somebody's dying out there. Trust yeah. me. So no, nah, you don't big up that. But if someone has really lived that life and yeah. then they're rapping it, then you can respect that because it's real. Even yeah. though they're not someone to look up to mm. because they've done fuckeries. No, real but true. if you definitely ain't bust no gun or swung no knife and you don't want to do an interview with someone's going to ask you about that. It's true. Come on. It's true. It's true. I don't it's understand. True. Because let's, let me figure. just, yeah. before you gentlemen carry on with me, let me give you one thing that I know is a fact. Mm. You see your channel, mm. your building. Mm. You see my channel, it's been going for years. It's dead. I know it's dead. Because you know what people will say? Mm. They'll say, oh, you don't want to go on a channel that ain't got no following, it ain't got no views. Mm. But let's get one thing straight. If mm. Bitch Boy started going on channels that had the balls to ask them what they wanted to know, mm. then it would get views and it would get following. Mm. But if you're scared to go on them channels, mm. how are they supposed to build? Yeah, yeah, it's true. You see what yeah, I mean? That's true. You know? that's I, feel so I will true. come here today and I don't give a fuck what you two's got to ask me. Yeah. I'll answer it. Yeah. You get me? As long as you don't talk on my mum, yeah, I'm nice, rude yeah, boy. Yeah, Everything yeah. else is a go. Yeah. yeah That's nah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so K Coke's been one of them. Any other artists, like, you got any on, in mind? Name some names. Um, I'll tell you who's told me stuff, and I'll tell you exactly what the convos has been. You. Yeah. Um, what about gigs? Is gigs. Since I've been yeah. back in the game, I've mm. never had one word with gigs. 
but we can look at the history. Yeah, like I was in the last you draw. Was, you was in this video, wasn't it? Yeah, so I know. You're I the played link. a role. Yeah, some people took that like that was me. I was playing a role. He asked me to play a role yeah. of a man who so was supposed to sort with something. That, with that video, how did that work as well? How did that link come well, about? Well, basically, I've got a friend in Peckham mm. called Flavor. See. He's official. Yeah. I know both the Flavor brothers. Mm. I used to roll with them and their cousin, Ren. See. We're nice. He knows gigs. They lived on the same block from what I know. Don't quote me 100% on that, mm. but he lived on the same block, I think. Yeah. So he, he was connected with gigs. See. He rung up gigs told him, boom, bam, someone wants to do an interview with you. Yeah. Remember, this is what now, 14 years ago? Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, that we bus legendary. ran to Peckham, jumped out in his block. That's what happened. And Me, him, was in the car. We flew Peckham, jumped out. Giggs jumped out of his car. He was with um, Kaiser yeah. and um, Buck. Okay. The three of them was in the car. Yeah. They was on their block. It was peak. We didn't even start nothing, and the police was all over us. Tore up my car. I remember, yeah, you got footage. Tore up of, my you, car, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alsatians all over us. Yeah. Ooh. But basically after that, he done a freestyle. Did he actually do an interview? No, nah, he didn't do an interview then. He done a freestyle. Yeah. He liked what I was about. I'm telling you this straight. He liked what I was about. He got at me. I said to him, I need to do the interview properly. He said, yeah, come down to... What's the place in Woolworth Road again? What, Unit 10? Unit, unit 10. 10. Come on. Scariest place. Hear what I'm it. saying. Yeah. And let them know that place is mad. You it's see when I went place. down there, it's yeah. fucking dirty down well, there. And you see in the times dirty. as well, the times that you was going down there as well, yeah. Remember, you're from Brixton. You're, you're yeah. a Brixton brother. So, and you're in, you, you don't business. You've gone down nah, there. No, but remember, that's link. Woolworth Road. Where okay. we went for the, but, but, the, but when I see him, it was Peckham. Yeah, yeah. you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so but let me give you that story. Yeah, so I went down to the studio 10. So is it Studio 10? Unit 10, yeah. Unit 10, yeah. I'm yeah. going nuts. Yeah, so I went down there. He's in there. There's about seven guys with him. Yeah. I've bopped in. Remember, I'm solo. Wherever I go, I'm You're solo. Always, yeah, yeah, Wherever's solo. to be is to be. Yeah. So anyway, I've gone down to the studio. Um, he's in there. We start doing the interview. And this is a true story. This is how nuts it gets. We start doing the interview. The whole place went black. So I shouted out, what? No one ain't got no electric around it. <laughs> The whole place so start saying, bursting what, out. Where it just, where just power cut? Just cut. Yeah. I don't know what happened in there, but something must happen with the power. But the whole place went dark. I was like, what? No one ain't got no electric in yeah, it. Yeah. Everyone start <laughs> bursting out. After that, there was the atmosphere's nice. You get yeah. me? Yeah. I've got interviews with Buck and um, Fix Dottom. Yeah, we I don't remember, remember Fix Dottom. Yeah, Fix yeah, Dottom yeah, was going yeah, nuts yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. 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 He had I've a mixtape with. Who did he have a mixtape with? I swear he had bare he bits on, like, coming out. And, yeah, he was on there, spare no yeah, one stuff yeah. and all that, but yeah. OTB and all that. That's yeah, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we done all them interviews. Mm. He liked what I was about. I remember after that, me and him had a conversation on the phone. Mm. He was telling me that he wants me to do a thing now where I sit down with him mm. and all the artists. Okay. But nothing ever come of that. See. And then, the la- then I see him um, one time in his car on Woolworth Road. He was in a cab. I must have jumped out, boom, bam. But we had a quick talk, no no convo with regards to anything else happening. And then that was it. The next time I saw him was when I was with R.A. for the, um, you know, the video he done, Struggle. R.A. done Struggle and he yeah. went to link certain That's rappers. That's right, yeah, the struggle do, is real. Yeah, he, yeah, done yeah, the, actually, yeah. he done like little bits where it's certain rappers done a big up. Yeah, I see mm. that, Fredo. That's right, gigs. yeah. So I yeah. was with him as he went to everyone and he... Saw gigs, but yeah. that's it. I've never had no convos, no connection, nothing with gigs since I started back, and it's about six years now. Look at that. Yeah. So that's it with him. So no, he hasn't told me he's going to do nothing. But I do tell you this: I yeah. sent him a direct message asking him, "Let's do this." Yeah. I've never had a reply. So okay. again, he's got a lot of followers. Maybe yeah, he never busy. saw it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that. I think, I think that, that as well. But then I'll tell it. you on the other side: I've sent a message to someone with two million followers before, and they replied to me. Yeah. So I don't know how these DMs things work. Certain people don't seem to hear you, but others do. Do yeah. So that's it with him. Yeah. Because I know that I know that gigs came off Instagram for a while as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But this was a long time back. I've mm. been. I've got a bear people. You don't wouldn't even believe how many people I've got at. Mm. And certain man got back to me and told me they're not doing it. So big up to them. Yeah. Like Snap Capone. He yeah. told me he's not on no interviews, but if he is, he'll get at me. Yeah, that's real. He, he stuck. Um, Wrecker yeah. from Junction told me he's not on interviews, but he'll let me know. Yeah. Um, what's his name from Junction? Schema. Schema yeah. told me when he's. Soon, he said at the moment he's busy, but he's on it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few others. 
But let's think about I gave the Rogues legendary shit. Come on. The Dylan White interview. Let's talk about hey, that now. Yeah, let's so talk let's about talk that. Let's talk about yeah. who knows me. Stormzy knows who the hell I am. Yeah. He said it on that, what is it, not for the radio. Yeah. There's a madman running yeah, around yeah, south yeah. with a camera. Yeah, there yeah. sure is, Rude Boy. Saying, what do you think about Storms, eh? Remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and that, you know what? That interview was legendary. And that same madman's looking for you, Storms. He wants your interview. Yeah, that's yeah. right. To get me some Storms, he pull up when you're ready. All right, so look, so you see, trying to get interviews of people, yeah? Mm. When you do get the interviews, yeah. Do, do people tell you, oh, cut that out, um, take that down, I, I can't really say that anymore? Yeah, I like what you say. Here's what our thing is. This is why we're so fucked. Yeah. We don't edit nothing out. There's no editing nothing out. Everything you say comes out because you see my heart. Yeah. If I edit something you tell me but the public don't know, yeah. I know. Mm. So I feel like I'm not the hardest anymore. Mm. Because you're saying you're the hardest, so you're going to do the hardest interview. <laughs> if you don't do that interview, then you're just a joke. Yeah. yeah. You're not sticking to the say you're the softest. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. yeah. Get me? Tell laugh them. at tell man. Them. How can man say you're the hardest? Come on the hardest you show. And, 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 and tell man about, yeah, take this no, out. No, you got to laugh at man. Real yeah. talk. And remember, let's get it straight. No one's invincible. No. I know there's bare man out there that can thump me up. Yeah. But I ain't scared to still ask you what the fuck I want to know. Yeah, that's you what I read. Yeah, that's so what I read. Apart from you coming with your gun or your knife, yeah. then it's just a one on one, innit? Whatever happens, happens. Mm. But I will ask you what people want to know. Because I'm not going to sit there and talk shit so you're happy, but the people that do support me and respect me yeah. are going to feel like, well, that ain't the interview you were supposed to get us. I go shops, big man. I go shops and I see people that are real people. Yeah. They're not rappers. They're not yeah. gunmen. They're not real knife life men. People, yeah. Just your average guy. Mm, mm, you know how right, many yeah. times on the street, if I was to get the people that come to me on the street, I'd be a fucking superstar out here. Mm. But I realise real people don't really follow everything like that. That's right. They just see you. They respect what you're on. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, I've had bare moving. donnies, bare women like, oh my God, your interviews are the realest. Keep going. Yeah. Mm. That's all I need. Because I ain't got nowhere. Remember, you can do interviews when you're 80. Yeah. It's not like you're a rapper and what you're doing 80 years old trying to rap. (laughs) I can still ask you some shit when I'm 80, so I'm nice, you get me? Yeah. Real talk, fam, real talk. So how did that link with Dylan White come about as well? Because I've known Dylan. Mm. I've known Dylan before he was a boxer. Mm. Me and him go flaxman. He's from Brixton, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. I've known Mm. Dylan for donkey's years. But what you want to be asking me is where's the round two? Yeah, where is the round two? Yeah, where is the round yeah. two? Because where Dylan offered yeah. me it. He told yeah. me I could have it, but he's never give me it. Mm. I, I mean, boy, you, if you lot was to steal my phone right now, you'd have the gold dust. Yeah. Because everyone's on my DMs. I've still got all their messages. Man like Dylan White told me yeah. about two months after that interview, I'm going on holiday. Mm. When I come back, we sit down. Yeah. I've tried to get Dylan White's interview. We don't connect no more. I'll be real with you. Me and him ain't talk for about two years. So have you spoke? You haven't spoken since Not for interview. two years. Oh, I okay. see him in the gym. We didn't even tilt because it got to the stage where, hold on. I'm telling you now, yeah, if I ever sit down with Dylan White again, yeah. my shit's getting bigger than Flad. That's yeah. how ballsy I'm talking. Yeah. Because the questions I've got for Dylan White from what's And you ain't shook that Dylan now. White might give you a left and a right. No, you can't lose, <laughs> it. You can't like lose. Because a, a, a left and a right, yeah, I'm yeah. nice. He's going to have to pay my hospital <laughs> bills, isn't That's it? That's true, yeah. We say Get me, so I'm nice either way. <laughs> but um, also, do you reckon as well, yeah, that the first interview that he gave you, like, um, helped your platform? Oh, definitely. Yeah. But it also fucked my platform. Did it? Because oh. I had bare people from all over the country sending me direct messages. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What sort of questions you asking, you silly cunt? <laughs> but you got to understand, I never went to Dylan White for a boxing <laughs> yeah. interview. No, you went to him for a exactly. real... Exactly. I'm yeah, not a yeah. boxing interviewer. Yeah. I went to him to ask the questions that people that know him wanted yeah. answers for. And you see, even when he done his interview, did he ask you to edit anything? Else? Nah. Oh, he's a real he one. Ask me nothing. Even that bit, yeah, when he said, yeah, that he will bang Stormzy in the face, yeah, yeah. I felt he was unprofessional because he's a boxer, innit? Yeah. So, but you got to remember, yeah. Dylan is rolled. He's like, a rolled you. Yeah. No, so, you know, even though he was early in then, innit? Yeah. He was early in. So, like, he's still going to have I the mentality. Like he's, a, he's a boxer, innit? So, he's chained. So, it's like, right, you know, you can bang Stormzy up, innit? We know that. And yeah. you get me. And Stormzy weren't your problem. AJ was your problem. You get yeah. me? But because he's so wound up, ah. Oh. But it was funny, though. He nah, nah, like, but you got to be yeah, real. Stormzy yeah. was cocky with it. He went yeah. in the ring and he started putting Dylan White into yeah, the in song. Bars, yeah, yeah let's be real. <laughs> what there was tell, no need I spent him like Beyblade. Thank you. Tell, tell, um, mm. tell so Dylan, there was answers to that. Tell Dylan I spent him like Beyblade. There was things <laughs> people wanted her. to know on that. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he started remixing. He done a dub plate. You know like what Yard Man do. He's done. 
So yeah, man. So also, how did you get into um like how did you create like how did you get into creating your platform? Because I've known you. Yeah, forever. let's give him that history. How long ago have we been rolling, big man? How many Bam. times was I in your blocks filming the whole block? You know, was Bro. killing it with from, rap. From like 2006, yeah. 2007. That's what times. I'm saying. Yeah. Where was that? Where was that? You was locked up for me, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, he was coming you, around Kenneth. Don't worry, time. man. We're going to get to his brother in a minute, yeah. man. we got to give him the history on this man's brother. That's yeah. why I'm sitting here right now, <laughs> because right. both of you are part of the history. No, real no too, matter man. what anyone thinks about Fuse and fucking following, yeah. when this shit started off, and in my eyes, my chameleon, yeah. fucking streets incarcerated, yeah. all them was running around. That's you right. was there. Yeah, I know this for a fact. Real. Your brother was there. I know this mm. for a fact. Because yeah. we was in the fucking downstairs where it was all <laughs> pink yeah. in Britain. Nil, selling entertainment. That's right. It was rats running <coughs> around with us, and your brother was telling me I better listen to fucking um, Timber from G Street. You get me? <laughs> and he was telling me that I best start busting some Blade Brown. I was telling him, listen, rude boy, Styles P hey, and Roadside G's to the end. You get me? <laughs> hey, do you know what? Yeah. Like, yeah, because, bro, I can't lie. You bust me on the exclusive ah. stuff. Stars P mixtape. Come right? on. He's is that the one reason. He's the, he's the one that got the fucking Come on, Rude, bro. I was the one who got every Stars P yeah. your brother he bought out, Rude, bro. Yeah, he used to pull up on me. And remind him who bought the wire to the roads. No I, one didn't know nothing about I no know. wire. I, one time, yeah, D come link man now. And he's like, yeah, man, so... But he was late because he's a busy guy and he's always... <laughs> so I'll be like, yeah, D, what time? He'll be like, yeah, man, I'll link you at 10, man. I'm, gonna, I'm just... Da, da, da. Yeah. Next minute, he might come the next day. You get me? <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Like, he'll pull up the next day, boom. But man's there and he's like, I'm like, yeah, so we got the new D-block. Smack DVDs from him as well, innit? Smack. The, all Every the battle oh, thing. Oh, right. Okay, all them American Bam? ones, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, them yeah, from yeah. you. Like, people be like, yeah, I'm going to this person. I'm saying, uh, I got my guy. If you want to come and link me with my mm. guy, you come. Sundays. More time, we will pull up at your yeah. spot. You used to have different spots as well, yeah. so... Yeah, he was out there, we Brixton, everywhere, Foxall, everywhere. and then you would pull up to Kenneth and you will pull up Tulsa, any ends, and you come to me and said, this is the wire. Yeah. I said, nah, man, remember, I was like, what's this, bro? Listen, I don't know I had that. the roads going bro. nuts for the wire, he said, trust me. He said, just pull it Uncle in. Murder was going nuts with the talk. Uncle yeah. Murder as well, Ransom. Mm. They don't get know, me. they All don't them know. Artists. I used to think that he was like he was the plug for them in America, like you know, like they it actually was were busting him, fam. I don't mm. know how he was getting the Listen, tunes. Listen, the way we had it, the man, there's a man standing in this room now who can certify all of that because he's seen the whole thing. You get me? Yeah. So you two see, well, so you never, your brother see it, yeah. he see it, I and see the man it, yeah. in the room. Yeah. We had the roads going nuts for entertainment. Nah, People that was everything. You was Anything the you could think was fan. coming to me. You was the plug. People man. couldn't even believe how that shit was going down. Like, fucking hell, this man's got the shit and nobody's fucking him over. Yeah. It's, a good it's true, though. Yeah, you yeah. were just out here, yeah. bro. Jewels up, everything, yeah, fam. mad. Cutting through the nice yeah. red, like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And every, like, yeah, man, I used to see you in every ends. Like, if he's brother, let me give you a lot of stories. Yeah. what I'm saying. People don't understand the history. Let's talk about Sneakbo. Yeah. Sneakbo wasn't known. Yeah. Your brother brought Sneakbo into the game. Come on. People don't seem to know that. Your brother, in fact, I, I got beef with your brother. But He's supposed to give me an interview. <laughs> your brother knows. We're that waiting I'm for waiting. his interview. We're yeah. waiting as well. Shamal knows. Waiting. We're, we're waiting. We're still waiting. Shamal we're knows waiting. that if me and him sit down, it's mm. going to be peak. Yeah. And let me give you a bit of Shamal. Shamal came to my mum's mm. with Sneakbo and a guy called G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. kids, kids. Yes. Gideon, yeah, that was Nobody out here was our banging yeah. Sneakbo back then. No one knew what he was on. He came to mine and Shamal said to me, he wants me to make up their new mixtape. Mm. I made up 500 of their new mixtape and mm. Shamal and them went and hit the streets. Sneakbo come in the mm. room, he looked at me and he said, are you Danny Dyer? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing that Sneakbo said to me. Are you Danny no Dyer? Way. No yeah. way. No. no. So know. now I'm saying to you, gentlemen, well, well, I obviously ain't got a part in his career. Yeah. But I put that first mixtape together with them. Yeah. Doesn't Sneakbo owe me a little interview? As Come if on. to say big up. And has of he course. has he promised you one? Big man, I've seen Sneakbo about three times in real life mm. since them times. Like, I saw him twice with Shamal back then. Yeah. One at my mum's and one in a car in Camberwell about two months later. But since then, I've seen him three times. I've spoke to him bare times on the phone. He swore to me he's going to give me an interview. I'm still waiting. Yeah. He's done bare interviews. I'm telling you now, yeah, with guards, people like Sneakbo, Dylan White, K Coke. I don't care how many views they've got on their interviews. Yeah. I'm telling you, 
my shitty channel will piss on any of them yeah. when we sit down. Well, your channel ain't no shitty channel still. No, works. but because it's mm. not getting... What, yeah. What's happened for us mm. is we're not getting to where people can make themselves come on the channel because we're not getting the following. Yeah. And they can say, oh, I don't want to go on that little channel. Like I heard a rapper say something on a interview about, ah, oh, people don't want to go to channels with no views and no following. How the fuck is it work? Yeah. Because you're building to get there, exactly. minute. But if of you're course. not coming on... Every platform no started yeah. with no yeah. following. But Every I tell you straight, started. any interview with a no-name person, they sit down with me, I'll piss on the views they got on any of them. Because the real ones will spread my interview That's when I right. ask them what we want to know. Mm. And I've got things on anyone. Anyone who can rap, Anyone who's walked road in South, East, North, West yeah. that has really lived it, I know somebody or I've got a connection with them. Real talk. So I can get questions to them that they've never had before. Yeah. Like I say, K. Coke, I don't know the gentleman, but I know his foundation. Yeah, yeah. And from the day he started, I've been watching. Yeah. So I could piss on any interview he's ever done. That's the real talk. Yeah, and you know man from his area as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I know man up yeah, there. Yeah. Remember, I've been up there. I've yeah, been on Church Road three yeah. times. I've been to Stonebridge. Yeah. I've been all these places on my own. Yeah. Just bus up there, met the person, did what I was doing. Yeah. That was it. So even with the um when you was like the, the the plug in the streets for the entertainment, how did you get into that, innit? Like that's one thing I've Remember always when wanted I grew to know. up, my mum had a record shop in Brixton. Okay. Like people talk foundation. Yeah. You okay. see everyone thinks black or dread, Brixton. Yeah. yeah. My mum was selling reggae before Black or Dread. How about that? Wow. She was in Brixton selling reggae before Black or Dread. Look at that. You know see, um, I didn't even know that. PDC, you know, um the one who who don't talk no more. What's his name again? Oh, God. The one who was who got shot. Fat Sai. Fat Sai. Yeah. My mum used to be across the road from Fat Sai. Fat Sai had a clothes shop, his dad. Okay. And my mum, and he was a little youth. See. It's all mad. There's history that people's never lied. That's why I needed to sit down with someone who knows foundation yeah, of what we right. went through. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's bare things people don't know. Yeah, it's not like I just picked up the camera one yeah. day and thought I could start asking certain man certain shit. It's I've true. been running rant. I went to Lillian Bailey's with Bear Man that was on the road. Yeah. You see what I mean? So I was mixing with him. It's all mad. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's how you got into it. And then like what type of music as well was you inspired by? Like you grew up like, I'll you be honest up? with you, big man. I mm. used to listen to Styles P from the beginning. Big up man like Simon Scott from Kennington. Because mm. one day when I was a young you, I was sitting in his house and he started playing that um you know that one with Mace and D Block. What was that tune? That old classic. Way back, come on, who knows their um, stuff? I know cool. it's a locks tune. No, I know it's a locks yeah, tune. It was yeah, that, yeah, the, the we, one um, done Santa started something. Yeah, remember? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember Dan what's that tune? Yeah, That's yeah. about 15, 16, Might even be more years old yeah. than that. I heard that. I was like, who the fuck's this? Next thing, big man, I'm going nuts with D Block out here on the road. He was the first place I ever heard it. See. But after that, I started fucking up the roads with that. Yeah. Because what it was is I had a guy who set me on the music thing and he decided to go down to Nine Elms. See. He yeah, thought that, that oh, well, he ain't going to get nowhere. I ended up in a boot cell on Lilford Road. Yeah, I used to live on Lilford Road. Yeah, yeah from yeah, that, it just there. went... It just went nuts. Big up so, RA, you get me. Yeah. Block five, that's where. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Um, how did you get in touch with RA and Block five? How did you get in touch with? Here's them? how it happened. Like mm. I said, I was in this boot cell on Lilford Road. Bear people was coming to me. There was some young youths that used to tell me about this guy on the block. Yeah. This peak, like no one ain't fucking with him. Yeah. But obviously, I ain't seen him in it, so I just want to get my CDs and gone. You get yeah, me? Yeah. Then all of a sudden, one day he's just standing there. He's just standing there and someone said to me, that's him. I'm like, shit. And I can see, you know, when you look at someone, yeah. you know, like nobody knows who can do what, but you can look at certain people and think, you know what? Oh, fuck that up. Yeah. But I looked at him and I said, this guy ain't playing. You can see in his face it's that he's problem. not on no, no <laughs> form of joke, yeah. no form of disrespect. You get me? Yeah. And then from then it's like he, for thankfully he liked me. Look at that. He liked what I was about and he started letting me do my thing in the blocks and everything. Mm. Yeah. Like one time I got chucked out the market, I was up in the blocks in one of his flats. People was coming up there for years. Look at that. Just in the block all day on Sunday. <laughs> we was going nuts up there. He d he that. done me right, big man. No Hell one ain't never done. done me like he's done me. So mm. it's you know Real recognised, real, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. He was real from the off and his yeah. people around him were real because obviously he had to sit it out for ten years, innit? Yeah. And 
that fucked up because he was the hardest and he still is. Yeah. He would have had 10 years of fame that he had to but fight But do you know what? Yeah, the one thing that I do remember with you is that um, you kept his name alive, bro. 100%. Like, I remember when his name just, because there's bare different artists. Yeah, everyone was busting. Yeah. UK Internet, scene was getting yeah. big. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, I just see you saying, no one's harder than R.A. And I was like, yeah. oh yeah, R.A., yeah. R.A. is sick, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, bro, where's my man? Because he's yeah. been in jail for long, innit? Yeah. So nobody yeah. knows, but R.A. was the hardest. When he came out, yeah. I'm not even a hater. Come I'm a on, real man. guy. And I, I like, growing up, Ross like, cheese was like, he was a real guy. Like, he yeah. was the hardest out in South ah, at whatever hardest, he done. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? The so, yeah. and, he and he come out and he come out and he kept, and he kept on that. Like, he's of still course. the hardest. Yeah. And what it is, people, this is what it is. People mm. are bitch. You mm. see, the mentality of a lot of people is we all say we're real. Yeah, there is no hundred, yeah. but there's levels. That's right. Your level's better than the next man's level because yeah. you're keeping it realer. Yeah, mm. but a lot of people they want to follow what's going. Yeah, like, oh, my man over there's got 200,000 followers. Mm. So let me follow him. Yeah. But that guy over shooting. there, he ain't nothing. Mm. Fuck all that. Mm. I treat you all the same, big man. If yeah. I see you enrolled, I don't care if you've got 200,000 followers. Mm. If you're nice with me, I'm nice with you. Yeah. If you've got some shit on you, I'm going to ask you about it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. But like I say, I'm big up for you for bringing it up because what people don't understand is what I really did to keep the thing alive. No, you did. I you was did, running bro. in blocks where yeah, I could have got my face torn off. Some serious shouting places. Shouting RA, block five. Mm. You get me? Promoting the five tunes that he give me from jail. Yeah, I was about mm. to say that you was releasing these yeah. songs. I was, yeah. I was yeah, going, Walls, well, one's called that. Brick Walls, isn't it? Yeah, Brick yeah, Walls, yeah. This High yeah. Life. And I was banging line. them tunes to people that, like you said, like that that, that didn't really grow up in South. So yeah. I, mean, I moved out at the end, so I'm showing like my bridge and show this is the man them that we grew up with. Uh, R-A. R-A. So when R-A, yeah. R.A. come out, like you said, you help keep that name alive, yeah. bro. You but get I me? remember, I'm not just in Brixton. I'm, you know yourself, you're Kennington. Yeah, yeah. And I've linked you in Tom Seal and yeah. stuff. I was going all South areas mm. and into other areas of London, playing mm. the tunes in areas where there's youths. That's right, and the yeah. youths would be like, right, who's that? Yeah. I'm like, come on, big man. R.A., the hardest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give you like, a little joke. I went to film a guy mm. in Church Road, a guy called Cripper Vell. Okay. Um, he, he had fire. Cripper's yeah. got fire, but he's in jail now. But anyway, I'm in Church Road. Nobody knows me, I think. Because what it is, I keep thinking, ah, oh, this channel, no one knows. Yeah. But you go places about. and you, it's mad. Because mm, I'm in Church Road. There's bare young youths. There's about 15 young youths. Mm. And we all know it can get sticky yeah. if the young youths are there and you're on your jacks. Yeah. So I'm doing this guy's freestyle now. It gets cold. It starts raining. Three of the youths jump in my car. So when he's in the car now, he said to me, like, I think he don't know who I am. Like, yeah. I'm just here filming this next guy. My man says to me, rah, the artist, play that shooter line. <laughs> like, rah, well, you know about shooter line, Rude Boy? He said, yeah, that tune's hard. That's the hardest. Say nothing, big man. So we just bust in the shooter line in the car for about five minutes. You get me? Look at Everyone's that. going nuts See on See how the world's road. so small, though. Yeah. See yeah. how the world's so small. So I said, yeah, and this is what I'm saying. I've been to bare areas where I'd think no one would. I get people from fucking Liverpool, Birmingham, telling me, listen, you're the realest. That's all right. As long as I keep doing what people want, the That's real right. ones will know. That's mm. right. And you know what the maddest thing is? When I'm dead, yeah, no matter how much um, fuse and that these people got, mm. I've literally won already. Because you see, like, we all want to be rolled. Everyone wants to be bad. Everyone wants to be a knife man, a gun man. Mm. But I've got every knife and gun man from South London within the last fir- three, four decades know who I am. Yeah. I've mm. got every rapper in this country mm. knows who I am. And I haven't even started yet. That's right. Mm. You just, you yeah. get me? I've been you just with, begun, fam. I've been on Campbellwell. I've seen someone. I've done the Bailey. You know the Bailey interview? Peter yeah, Bailey. Yeah, yeah, Peter Bailey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a member of, um, what's his name? Bish. Like, there's names that go for years. Jimmy Bish is yeah. one of them names that goes for years. Yeah, that's right. I saw a member of his family tell me Jimmy Bish has watched one of my interviews. Look Imagine that. that. Yeah. You think Jimmy Bish is watching Tom, Dick and Harry's interview? Nah, nah. That's nah. what I'm saying. I'm nice. Yeah. I speak to certain foundation people on the phone that everyone knows the name of. Yeah. I can speak to someone like Vincent Rat on the phone because me and him talk. Yeah. Like, you think every interviewer can do that? 
No, it's true still, man. Like, I might not be giving the streets what they want at the moment, but the connections are all there. Yeah. It's just the fact that I'm pissed as you lot are that I'm not giving you enough. Yeah. But I'll tell you straight, there's not a week goes by that I don't try and get at someone. Mm. Like mm. I say, all you lot got to do is tell me names and I'll tell you what the connections be. Yeah. I'm not scared to tell you. I've waited long enough. It's time you lot knew what's really going on behind the scenes. Yeah. That's that, yeah. 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 So like, what, ask me. Yeah, what about Charlie Sloth? Yeah, well, Charlie let me give Sloth. you a little funny story about Charlie Sloth. Yeah. Um, you lot all know about the, the rapper Colours. Yeah, of course yeah, you yeah, know yeah, about yeah, Colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Colours is another man who was in my mum's yard before he was ever anything. Colours, I used to have a, a brethren in a um, new cross area called Clayton. My brother. Mm. The man of people this guy bought to me is unbelievable. To this day, I could never pay him back. Well, he used to bring a guy who was up there. You know the guy called Chunks from GB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, yeah. used to come to my mum's mm. with his sister. Look at that. His sister was one of them that you wouldn't forget her if you see her, you get me? Mm. She was proper. Yeah. But him and his sister used to come with an official Donny from um, Ghetto. I can't remember his name, but if he ever sees this, he'll know who I'm talking about. Mm. But him, her and her used to come. One night they brought colours to me. Yeah. Colours gave me his first ever mixtape. Asked me to flood it on the road for him. Yeah. That same night was a madness. They came about one in the morning. Mm. Um, a guy must have put a ticket on their car outside. Mm. You know, one of these fucking traffic yeah. wardens. So at the time when he's come, um, Colours has got a trench coat on. Like the coat's right down to his, his fucking feet. You get yeah, me? Yeah. So we've gone outside now. We're all in the street. The... Colours has gone in on the traffic wall then. It's like, what the fuck you doing? Take it off there now. <laughs> yeah. And the way his legs moving, like there was two of my brethren was on the doorstep with me. It yeah. looked like he had like a shotty down his leg. You get me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everyone was thinking, fuck, you know, is it going to get peeped for this guy out here now? You get me? Mm. So anyway, long the story on, mm. about four years ago, I was in the car with Quincy. I don't know what we was doing. We was talking about something. And I think he run colours or colours rung in one way or the other. Yeah. So I'm like, I know the voice. So I'm like, is that colours? So he's like, yeah. So I spoke to him. I said, big man, what's good? Long time. Yeah. He said, yeah. I said, what are you saying? What, interview five in the roads? He said, yeah. Yeah. 100. Big man, I swear to God, not even two weeks later, we done a five in the streets with Charlie Soft. <laughs> what's going on there? Yeah. Two weeks later, he done a five in the streets with, Ch um, yeah, with yeah, with Charlie, Charlie Soft. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He never ever got back to me about my five in the roads mm. when I known you from donkeys. These are all the things what people do to yeah, me. Yeah, no, nah, no, man. The game I remember like there that. was no five in the streets when I was doing five in the roads. Yeah. Mm. So what do you reckon? So would you reckon Charlie got that idea from you then? Big man, I'll be honest mm. with you. I sent two <laughs> emails, not emails, two Twitters to Charlie Soft. Yeah. Saying you're taking the piss. No way. About no you doing five in the streets. I've got five in the roads. Yeah. Dead that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's got millions of followers. I don't yeah, know if you saw it. Yeah. But I actually sent them two tweets to him. Because I think, fuck that about five in the streets. That fight in the streets was dead anyway. <laughs> it was dead. No one yeah. really took to it. Yeah. The only person who anyone ever watched on it was, I think, Snap Capone's one or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But right even the it, there's other things. that I could tell you bear stories of rappers that I literally walked around mm. and then you fucked me over and went on Charlie Sloft or Wastewood. Yeah. Do you reckon mm. it's because obviously again it goes back to the thing where they feel that these men have got a bigger platform? Yeah, it could be it that as well. But yeah. I've got the answer for that as well. Yeah, I'm sitting here with you. Yeah. I don't know how many followers you got. I've exactly. not even looked because it's I true. know you. It's true. Mm. No, we know that. But yeah, this yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah, with regards that you can go on Charlie Soft. Yeah, you can go on Wastewood. Yeah, but still give the little man the chance to grow. Yeah, mm. especially if you know man as well. Yeah, isn't it? it's not about. You can't go on there. You give them what you want to give them. Yeah. But there's other channels trying. Yeah, enough man of Hollywood. I call it Hollywood. Yeah, yeah man of Hollywood. Like, I don't stuff. care who you are. If I want to go on you, I'll go on you. Yeah, mm. you get me. But you can't you. grow. Yeah. Like, big up to all of these guys. Like, big up Link Up, big up Grime Daily, because they put in the work. Yeah, mm. yeah. But on the other team. side, they're kind of fucking us all now. Yeah. Because people don't want to come on your man. channel. Yeah, they want to mm. go on They want to go on there. Yeah, yeah. It's not their fault. That's what the game is, isn't it? Yeah, Build it. But I think that all goes down to all these kids getting deceived by views thinking that views yeah. is everything in life so it's exactly so we've we're in a generation of likes now yeah it's not about if yeah. you're real or not or if i like you or you're a real guy it's yeah. all about how many likes exactly. can i get how many views can i get yeah. and they think that 
account equates to their value. Yeah. So like, look, I got 20,000, 50,000 views, but no comments. Mm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. just got to look at Instagram. Look at it. Girls yeah. with their fucking ass out all <laughs> over it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what yeah. do you think man wants? You've got 300,000 likes because someone wants to fuck you. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. You think my man wants to be with you Isn't and it? raise kids. No, no. It's real. But you're shining your ass <laughs> and true, talking though. about what's but that pretty little <laughs> thing or some shit. <laughs> Some clothes company. And then it starts making these girls think they're special as well. And then that girl well, thinks she's Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. see her on road without the makeup on. Yeah, she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> because on Instagram, you got a big following. You're yeah. bad now. No, it's real. It's, it's real. I swear that's to God, God if I had a sister them. I and I see her putting her ass on there, she'll get a kick up it. Because yeah, I ain't cool. trying to let no one see your sister's ass and then because she's saying her ass, she's a big star now. It's true, though, Where's, it? What have you got behind you? What, you now to suck dick or something? <laughs> I don't understand. The game's gone wrong. There's no realness. It's just if you look at someone and they've got something, let's follow them. Yeah, no, for real. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what we've got into now. The, the, the whole industry is based on not talent. Yeah. Not like, raw how much work you've put in. It's based on how much following you have, how much views you can get. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And even me as an artist, I've been like you said, you see the struggle. Bear Tell man. them about your mixtape. We put your mixtape back on. 12 years ago. And, and, hey, you was the first one before come Michael on. Million hosted yeah. my thing. Them time Michael Million didn't even want to host my thing. You get me? You host oh. my thing and put my thing out there. Exactly. From, and you put it all over People London. People used to understand how mm. deep the foundation is. I used to go to school with Michael Million's brother. Mm. How about that? Before, they, no one ever knew anything about music. Yeah. I was playing football with him. We was, we was in the football team and that. So it's like, then Mike Chameleon come along. I used to be on Ken and Blocks with Mike Chameleon before he got into any of this. Yeah. You remember Taz? Yeah, yeah, of, course. Yeah, yeah, Taz. of course. Yeah, Taz. Yeah. Taz is Taz. my big brother Taz. from, from Ken and as well. 30 years. Yeah, big up Taz, man. He used to be there with Mike Chameleon. Yeah. Taz, Mike Chameleon, sitting on the block. Yeah. And then Mike Chameleon, as far as I'm concerned... I don't care if I never talk to Mike Million again. He's legend. No, he's a legend. He's fam. legend. We want to interview him. No as one well. don't respect him, but he's legend. Yeah, yeah, he's a legend still, man. Michael Million's a legend still. I don't care about some guy who's got two million fucking followers if you ain't got no groundwork. No, real talk. And to be honest, that's what I felt with Charlie Sloth. Like, that man they just come out of nowhere, fam. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But Listen, what it is, is he they're a, not from a, where we're from. Let's yeah. be real. We've seen shit in life, mm. we've mm. been through shit in life. Them man ain't done that no, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's a different ball game. They Obviously, they got them, a man. touch. Yeah. It's all mad. They probably got bus, innit? They got like they got a link. Well, this is it, innit? After them, innit? Yeah. Like, back in the day, Westwood couldn't come Brixton if he never had security. It's true. I've been walking around Brixton for fucking centuries. Yeah. You get me? I know people. I don't need no security. It's real. No, real. Real talk, man. So how you, how you been getting on through this lockdown and that as well, like the pandemic? Big man, I've that. been having problems out here. They're trying to get me, you get me? They tried to give me a fucking points the other day. I must have been in the car. I done 46 in a 40. Yeah. Fuckers don't understand. I was running from COVID-19. What the fuck <laughs> you want me to do? You get me? <laughs> fucking hell. And now they're trying to take man's license. They're going nuts out here. <laughs> Red said I was running from COVID-19. No, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, but, 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 you but. Get me? Hey. Come on. Hey, no. It's the clap. The man. hardest is a G. Man. It's the clap. I rate him. I rate him still. Yeah, man. So, would like... Like how how has it affected you this pandemic, man? Yeah, of course, isn't mm. it? You can't do fuck all. You got your family all breathing in these masks and shit. I can't isn't handle it? them masks. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna faint in the shop. True. I don't wear them. Mm. And then you got everyone looking at you with their beady eyes. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Get me. I'm not on it. Isn't it? I just think there's something out there, but I don't think it's what they're telling us. That's right. I, I think I it's agree. all fuckery. They're yeah. trying to do this thing where they just bust down the population, isn't it? Every so many years, yeah. shit happens. That's that's what yeah. I hundred percent. Even on the way down, we was on the tube and that. Me and my nephew got on the tube, bro. Feds were on there, bro. You see, making sure we had our mask. Yeah. They're just standing there with their mask on. Just, and I'm thinking like they use, like you said, they're using this a thing to control, man. It's, it's money like, again. Yeah. It's money. Cool. Everything and then they to give man a fine money. if you ain't got. You get me? Yeah. Figure this. We're all supposed to be out here living off fucking gyros. But they want to be fining you for every fucking thing. Exactly. And how are you meant to be affording to pay these fines? How can you do it? Mm. People are going to work 
fucking seven days a week, nine hour shifts to pay fines and shit. No, real. It's all bollocks. And, and Big up anyone paying, who's that's... got a job. In it. You get me? They're yeah. the real Donnies. Fuck a gun and knife, man. Yeah, if you've man. got real. a job, real. if you're Big in you Tesco's, yeah. Aldi's, Come fucking on. super drugs, Come stacking on. them shelves, Big you up. Real talk. And real your talk. family. Real talk. Yeah. They're the real soldiers. They're the real right? ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucking real recognised, real, real ones, you get me? Struggling for so your if, family. If, do you have any advice for the youngsters? The youngsters yeah. out there, give me some give Stay some the advice. fuck off of YouTube. That's <laughs> you get me? Stay off of YouTube. <laughs> Nothing on there is real. Yeah. Except for my channel. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So I'm like, what, what what advice would you give anyone that's coming up, like up and coming, like building? I'd their say channel? understand this game is dark. Mm -hmm. Everyone you think's real, they're not real to shit. They all up each other's Thank asses. You. I've Thank seen you. people that tell you they're the baddest and they're up someone's ass. Yeah. I see them on Insta liking some shit from someone who gung butted their brethren 10 years ago and shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Anyone you see out here doing videos with people that have done stuff <laughs> to their family so and all shit. Hold on. What's going Our on? Our full family's the most important thing in this world. Mm. Yeah. It's all bollocks. I'm not on it. I'm telling you my little thing. I love it. Because yeah. I will keep it real. And I'm the liar. I've told every lie this fucking earth can tell, you get me? <laughs> but I still know my shit's really the next, you get me? Oh, yeah. shit. I'm nice, yeah. So Sorry. yeah, my advice to anyone would be, listen, just be you and don't say you're going to be you, be you. You no, get me? Because no. when there's people around you that have got more power than you, don't be up their ass. Just be you and if what's coming to you will come. No, it no. might be a long struggle, but it will come to you. I've had some real people like the man in this room I'm going to say his name on camera. You get mm. me? Big up, folks. Big up, folks. Big up, moves. These yeah. two brothers have followed this journey from day one yeah. in the rat-infested place. You get me? They've yeah. been there telling me my shit's nice from the fucking boot sale in Lilford Road, from coming to my mum's every week. Mm. All these things are real. No, they no. followed me. Every time I get disheartened, fuck this game. Nah, D, you can do That's something. Right. Keep going. That's, That's what right. they tell me. These are the real ones. And that's Big the them. people you need around that you. That was yeah. our, our last episode was about that, about um, surrounding yourself with the right people. Yeah. 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 But what? that's hard sometimes because Especially everybody's a bit from. fucked. Like, where I'm come fucked from. at sometimes. Mm. Yeah. You might tell me, oh, I'm going to start a channel. I'll tell you, nah, fuck that. It's fake. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you want to start it, you should start it. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. I just feel like what I've seen makes, because I'm going to tell you, I was a fucking happy guy. You know how I was. I he used was to bust up jokes. Happy fam. You know, I was a good I fucking guy. This fucking game's made me miserable, mate. <laughs> I fucking hate everyone now. I tell yeah. you straight. <laughs> but you can't let it get to you like that, D. Because man, like you said, back on. in the days, like I would more be in that kind of miserable kind of space. And you'd be like, yo, bro, bro you're still in that miserable it. kind of space, bro. Don't try it. You're still doing it. You're still doing it. happy, bro. No, nah, you still do it. Like, obviously, man, gets, man does get miserable because of this game. This game. Yeah. It's got me miserable as well. It's got me miserable. Same yeah. thing. You get me? So And I, while I'm thinking, sorry, gentlemen, I want to big up your brother properly because mm. Shamal used to show me bare fucking love. Mm. He brought people to me. Mm. He tried to make me money with the music game, yeah. with the people that was doing mixtapes nah, back real. then mm. as well. He come to my mum's. He come to the rat infested. He's a real don. Mm. But on the other hand, fuck you, Shamal, until you give me my interview. <laughs> 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 But as for Bro, him himself, hey, Shamar, why is he on to you? Yeah. Hey, well gone, Shamar. I thought, I thought, I thought you were with dogs. What's going Isn't on? You get me? You get hear me what I'm saying, Shamar? I want to know about them jet ski chains, room, boy. I want to know about them jet ski chains. You get me? Let me See. talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Man said he wants to know about the jet ski he chains. No, well you get me? Yeah. Give me the story behind that. Techie. Wait, where's it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rez, give me chuck, you know. The techie yeah, ones. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. That, that sick. sounds sick, isn't it? Come on, techie That's still. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah, big up my brother all day, man. He's uh, a pioneer in a lot of things, man. Yeah, he's a and he needs to get no. he needs to get the credit because, like he said, he needs to get the listen. Humble, man. I'd say one last thing: people mm. don't know how many people he was trying to promote out here. Yeah, when mm. gigs first started, your brother was going nuts. Mm. Roadside, he was promoting all of them. You know what? I think I think my brother is actually like a pioneer in everything, but um, a lot of people don't know because I was in jail, yeah? yeah, and he sent me everyone's mixtape. Yeah. yeah, so basically, yeah. I knew everything that was going it's on true, with though. the music. Yeah. I was like, right, oh, dubs, this, that, yeah. that, everything, no. um, youngster. Every I knew everything that was going on, and I was in jail. Imagine it. Yeah, I knew everything. He used everything to come it. to the bit when we was in um, Brixton Hill, down yeah. in the bottom of the basement. 
and he used to be telling man about bear Who music the artists, man never yeah, knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. was fucking shook. I thought, oh, he's going to take my customers <laughs> move away. Get me? <laughs> Who the fuck's this artist he's talking about? But he knew his shit. Yeah. And he's got a lot to go on with them guys down there. Sneak bowl, yeah. our dad, shallow. Yeah. I swear he done something to bring all them in. Yeah, he even help push their mixtape yeah, on that. So yeah. you know what it is with I'll tell you what his problem is. He ain't got a big mouth. I got a big fucking mouth. I mm. talk on things. He mm. don't talk. Mm. He needs to. Or people's never gonna know what he's he humble, did. isn't it? Yeah. He's humble about it still. Humble, but there's humble and there's just not putting yourself out there. Mm. Yeah. You know what but what I'm saying out. is if you've got a story, you should. Yeah, come yeah. on. Come on, foundation, fam, foundation, man. Yeah, man. So, um, so have you got any like any, any up and coming interviews or? Nah, I've got people that have said there. I ain't got nothing to give you, gentlemen. I'm pissed at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, I've got a bag of DMs that ain't come with what they said. You uh, get me? What about like these new these new podcasters and that? Why don't you try and holler at some Big of them? Big man, I'm telling you, I'm on your podcast because mm. I know you. And I respect you two are trying your things. You've both got foundation in this thing. But I'm not sitting on no podcasts because everybody seems to be doing podcasts all of a sudden. I'm not mm. on them. I'm not on them. I've seen what they're saying. A lot of these things, you, you can't even listen to them. Yeah. I flick them on. They're just talking shit. <laughs> they've got people on there that uh. they know that real Donnies want to know what's what with that. Yeah. Because you've got these figures. Well, people will say, well, hold on. I don't need to come and talk about no fuckeries. Mm. I don't want to say nothing. Because I'm changed now. Change what? What about your victims, big man? Mm. Well, you fucked up Bear Man's life and now you're changed. So let's ask you about your new mixtape that was whack. <laughs> nah, we need to know some of the That's history. actually real, you know. That's actually real. Yeah. You know? That's actually real. Because... It's not your choice. You yeah. see, when I sit here, mm. I can't say to you, oh, ask me this, ask me that. Ask me what the fuck you want. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. An interview is about everything. An right. interview's not for you to tell me, oh, I can't ask you that, I can't yeah, ask you. But that's on you. I never bought that on you. That's yeah. something the roads are on. Yeah. They know about that. We want to know your truth on it. Mm. But they don't want to. They want to make out like, oh, but there's victims out there. Yeah. There's people whose lives you fucked up. It's true. So they want to know what you think right now on yeah. that fact. Mm. Is your but mind frame still the same? or you? Or you no, nah, not even really, that. Like, that. give yeah. them some closure. Mm. Oh, you was that, a bad yeah. piece of work, but now you're not. Or you still are, but you don't want to talk about it. Mm. What about the time I heard someone run up on you and slap the shit out of you? <laughs> Let's talk about that. You yeah. wasn't invincible. Yeah. That young you who's watching your YouTube video, he needs to know that. Yeah. Because mm. then he might think, oh, well, you know what? I like that rapper, but he's not as hard as I thought. Yeah. So I shouldn't mm. be going like I'm invincible. It's true. You might save a youth's life. Mm. But instead of that, nah, let me go on like I'm invincible. Fuck the artist. Mm. I ain't never chatting to him. I know mm. Bear Man is saying fuck the artist in their fucking living rooms or with the missus mm. or when they're with their brethren in their car, but they know full well mm. the artist will fuck up their life if they're a liar. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Because I know the truth. It's true, it's true. My interviews will be fucking legendary. It's just getting hold of that next one, you get me? Yeah, and just keep it consistent, fam. Well, it's, get it, me. it's hard to do that because I try and change. Because everyone's running. I try and do interviews well. with positive figures. Yeah. People don't care. Yeah, no, no. Hey, the positive no, stuff. I'll be honest with you. Like no. when I was growing up, and man would be like preaching, telling me, "Oh, this and that." I'll just look at them and think, "Bro, I'm in the streets, bro." You see, I, I ain't really. Got and time. that's what our mind frames got yeah. to. We don't. We don't care. Yeah. I yeah. give you an interview on someone who's fucking up twenty quid kids survive. Yeah. Two hundred views. Yeah, people don't want to hear that. I asked African child some shit. He's got two fucking hundred thousand. I know, fam. How was that interview as well? With, with how is that yeah. guy? Yeah, how yeah, is let's that? talk about yeah. African child. African child, wherever you are, yeah. where the fuck's round two, you promise me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Because I see you do bare interviews after me. You know full well my one <laughs> fucked them all up. Come on. My interview with you was the hardest. I like that one. You lot was in the park. You lot was in the park, yeah. didn't it? Peckham, me? yeah. Yeah, in Peckham, yeah. Yeah. He was all right. I ain't going to lie yeah. to you. He was all right. I met him up in near Church Road. Seems. Drove down here. Went to the park. Done it in the park. Seems, he yeah. was calm. And he seems like was he was a genuine person. Yeah, he? He, like, yeah. he never seemed hyped up. He's and not that. like he how calm. he is on the camera. He? Seems well, like he's I don't calm. know what yeah. he is on every day, but he was calm that day. He, yeah. he never came with no hype or nothing. Came on the camera. Yeah. He said what he said. You asked him some real questions as well, still. I like that interview. Even that, look, look, let's think about this. Mm -hmm. Every channel that is big promoted every African child interview except for mine. Shit, I didn't even clock that, you know. Link up, Grime Daily. Yeah. Everyone who interviewed African Child, it got it got promoted by them. Mm -hmm. Nobody promoted my one. Mm. And yet Link Up TV's following me on Twitter. Oh, they follow you, yeah. Yeah. 
So how does that work? Have they shared any of your interviews? No. Okay. Not one. Let me give you know. a story now, something for them. I'll tell you what's coming in the future. Mm. Rashid, Link Up TV. Yeah. He swore to me early this year he's going to give me an interview. Okay. And I spoke to Joey Clipster on yeah. a DM not even two weeks ago to ask him where's the interview I was promised. Yeah. Because he ain't got a... Um, Rashid ain't got a, a thingy official, is he? No, nah, he don't. I don't an think, Instagram. Yeah, I don't think he has. So no. he told me I'm going to get at him. Yeah. Two weeks ago, I ain't had a word back. But he swore. That he's going to... So he's a man. He's real, isn't it? Yeah, he has mm. to stick to so his yeah, word, So yeah, that's what's going to be coming real R- soon. Rashid and interview And on some the people TV. might think that obviously he's not a road man. Trust me, that interview's going to be real interesting. There's bare things I need to get out in that one. So Jeez. yeah, you should be looking forward because I know Rashid's going to do what he said. Yeah. He's going to pull up. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's also, um, like, growing up and that, like, obviously, how, how, how was it, like, when you was doing the entertainment and that, how was how, how when you was around in the trenches? How was it with the police and that? Like I, I've seen a few madness and you always, yeah, bro. The police get on to you, like. Listen, there was yeah. a time when I was in that place in Brixton, you know, mm. when we was downstairs, and on top was at the top. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember on, on top, top radio was know, above yeah. us. Yeah. And the guy who ran the place, I'm gonna bait his name up. Big up Roy. Because oh, Roy, oh, oh, oh. Roy was the one whose spot it was. Mm. That he was a sneaky sod. What happened was the place had been raided in the morning. And he never told me. Yeah. Because he wanted his 20 pounds for the day, innit? Yeah. So I've gone downstairs, put all my shit in there. All of a sudden, I'm going through the day. And what it is, if you both know, like the door used to always be open. You could just walk in and yeah. come down. Yeah. But for some reason, the door was closed that day. And knock, knock. I look out the fucking spiral. There's all feds out there. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, so I flew down the stairs, tried to pack it all in black sacks, stuffed it all in the corner, and then flew out the fucking front door of the barbers, run up the stairs and flew out the barbers, uh, and just legged it down bricks the hill, you get me? But that day would have been peak. But yeah, they kicked off my mum's doors, everything. The time, yeah. They came up to the house I used to have. It's all mad, there was bear shit. In yeah. the end, it was where, if I came on road, and sold you a pound DVD, I would have been getting five years. Wow. What? Imagine that. Wow. Five years. Because <laughs> it was my third time, innit? So I'd done for, for it. I'd been prison. I'd been community service. I'd been to probation. What, for the same thing? For yeah, that, yeah. Thing, yeah. So basically, if I sold you a Keep pound... You know, I didn't even know If that. they found me with a pound DVD, yeah. I was going to get five years. Jeez. Imagine that. That is mad. So obviously... I went and got a job in Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, big up. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Come big on. up. Big up all the men that work and have legit jobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah real talk. Don't though. let no one lie to you and tell you that rah, being on the road is more lucrative than having a job. Having yeah. a job is actually the smartest thing you can do. Yeah. Like, the younger you start, the better your life is. It ah, is. Trust me. You build your it credit took me a lot of years to realise that mm. the street stuff is a myth, bro. Yeah. All the money I made, I don't know where it is right now. And yeah. most men that's on the roads can say the same thing. Trust but me. when you're working, you actually respect the money more. Yeah, yeah. You work hard for it, innit? You and even though the government will try and fuck you for every penny you get, you can buy mm. things with your legit money that are yours. Yeah. Like you say, you can try and buy a house. Yeah. Give your family something. Yeah. yeah. And if you've got cash off the road, you can't you can't go in a um a car showroom with that nah. fifty grand of cash and go and buy a car now. You can't go to um an estate agent and say, Yeah, here's a deposit. They're gonna ask you where yeah, that exactly. come from. You see what I'm trying to remember, say? I don't know if they still do it, but the last I remember they do the thing where they make you buy the car and then they contact the feds. What? So when you get yeah. down the end of the road, the feds stop you. No way. That happened to one of my bridgings in that. What's that big one that used to be advertised on the... What, car giant? Not car giant. Yeah. In one White in... City. Yeah, West yeah, That's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. I went with him and he bought a car. And then by the time he got well, he to the end, cash. he paid him cash. That's yeah. Right, by the geez. time he got to the end of the road, they stopped him. Feds. So this wow. is what they do. But I don't know if that, that was a good while ago. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that still happens. What they say? Money laundering. Yeah, yeah. basically, where'd you get, get it? Like, how from. can you come without much cash? Yeah, yeah. see? So the people ain't going to do it, but they're going to they're gonna put your name through the system. Yeah, because then remember, they still got the sell. But obviously, the feds will fuck you for the car, innit? Yeah, yeah. No, real. Yeah, that's all mad still. So come on, man, stick it on me. What name do you want to know about? 
Who's been fucking with the artists? You get me? Come, you drop them. You drop them. I can't, I can't even think of like, who I got stuff from. Come, come, think of something. Go on. I know you got a name in there. I'll tell you something a bit interesting. Yeah. Um, I spoke to Shaq Cullion not long ago. He's in prison, isn't he? Yeah. Free him up, man. He Free told up me Cullion. when Pioneer. he comes out, he's doing my interview at last. So he, I said to him, don't do me like that, yeah? Don't mm. gas me up, because you said that before. Yeah. He said, listen, when I come out, it's 100%. And hopefully he's out soon. Big up to him. And trust me, mm. that is going to be a nice one, because he's energy. got real history in this game. 100%. Yeah. He's done a lot still, man. So that one should be coming as well. It's just a waiting game. Mm. Yeah. And what about um, also, like, have you... How was Tentman, like? Because I remember you was, that was the last interview I see with, with Tentman was on your yeah. platform as well. That guy's a legend in music, like, yeah. he don't get the props he deserves. What, what happened to him? What happened to well, I always like to hear Temp Man being brought up. You get me? He's mm. about still. He's he's fixing himself up at the moment. That's he's got good. a woman behind him. That's good. She's building him up. He's going to start bringing you stuff real soon. So he's putting music up? Yeah, you saw the freestyle he done on my channel, innit, about a month ago. No, I ain't seen that. Yeah, he's done a freestyle. Yeah. yeah, big up Temp Man. See, Watch that, that yeah. freestyle. The artist TV. He's coming. Yeah, That's Temp it. Man's yeah. a legend. He was one of the coldest growing up, Allaire. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Anyone knows that, you get still. me? Everyone yeah. knows that. They yeah, can't try and lie. Fantastic. He's still got the bars, but obviously he's got to clean himself up a bit, innit? Mm. Uh, so, is it, is it, do you do the interview with him recently? Nah, uh, to, uh, to be honest. It's like, I feel a bit bad about Temp Man interviews now. Mm. And I don't give a fuck about interviewing anyone. Yeah, well, but it seems like people seem to think, oh, if I ask Temp Man what everyone wants to know, it's like I'm doing him wrong. Mm. He don't care. He don't care, no. He don't care to ask, answer no questions. Yeah. But it's got to the stage where people think he's not, he's not right no, with I've it. I've seen one interview, though. He was moving a bit different still, isn't well, he? Well, this is what I'm about, saying, yeah. yeah. Like the record deal or something. Yeah. Like he's, got the, he's a millionaire or something, you're saying. Yeah. But it's like he's he's got his character in it. That yeah. all comes towards it. Because remember, if we be smart and we remember when he was rapping at his best, yeah. some of the shit he was saying didn't sound right to a normal rapper. Yeah. But because it was him, he got away with it. Yeah. Like he was saying some mad, it's like he's the three-legged, goggle-eyed monster. <laughs> you get me? I put a bullet in your lobster. He did say that. Yeah. <laughs> And when you listened, you're like, oh, God, no one else could get away with that. But Temp Man said it. He's like, yeah, what was what this? Like, this is yeah. it's Temp Man, isn't it? You get me? You've yeah, got a he's team. a legend, he fam. Like, I used to see him outside, um, uh, what is it, Foot Locker and Rickson just shot in these mixtapes. And that even inspired me, fam. Like, yeah. Oh, man needs to be. You get me? When man had the little Femme vs. The World team, man. Ted Man was even out there selling these CDs. Was he? Yeah, yeah brother in Brixton. I will cut the mixtape. Cut. But he was banning bare people up, though. He was G-checking a lot of people. You get me? Yeah, he's always had that madness about him, hasn't he? Yeah. Like he's, he's, what's he was, he, what do you call it? Iper. He's yeah, Iper. He's, he's, is yes. the interviews, yeah? what, what interview would you say is the, the most, like, intense interview? Okay. Like, you've done an interview with someone and it's intense. Like, there's there's a mad... Friction. Like, there's a friction. Yeah. Like, you're asking him questions and he's, he's, he's answering, but he's, the way he's moving, you can feel that something's about like it's not yeah. feeling right i think one of the most well as i went into it i know i was gonna get dark and i i'm like a bit on his character like i've known things about him through the years is mm. is um souza from pdc judge yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. his one was deep yeah his one was very yeah. i watched that one yeah I watched it they twice. need to know how deep that was and his character compared to others is like yeah he's like you don't know isn't it? no yeah. but he switches like i know i see, see he, like, he, he said something switch, what did he, yeah. say? he said something you know, on that yeah interview. he was like, like what were you asked or something like the way yeah you so you know yeah. with him you gotta think but you see that's when you know balls yeah because even though i know about his way i still gotta ask what we want to know yeah but yeah other than that like i don't know who else did i've never really had one where i I felt it was intense. Like, I just asked what I want to ask. Like, with, with RA's one, his one was uh, history. Yeah. But RA don't give a fuck, you get me? Mm. You can ask him what you want. He don't care about no question. Mm. So, his one wouldn't, wouldn't be. Um, yeah, I think, I can't think. Stanner's one was good. That was sick. Because when I asked him that about ghetto sick. and all that, that when they sick. done the Wiley thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he asked him about the streets of incarcerated clash. You know, yeah, when, um, when Whitey said to, I mean, not Whitey, Get said, said to, to Bashy. No, Bashy said to Get. Yeah, yeah. Stan had told me you got fucked in a cell and all that, <laughs> innit? Yeah. So I asked him on that. So that <laughs> one was a bit, 
Because I don't know Stanley like that, but we've connected after and he's all right. What did he say? What did he say in the interview? He said to me, move on, move on. Yeah. <laughs> I said, nah, we want to know. Did you tell him that? Yeah, did you, did you say that to him? Yeah. Like, that's so, yeah, cool. there's been some good ones. But what it is, remember the channel got hacked. So what? now when you look, it looks like there was no views. Because remember, Dylan White's interview was on nearly 400,000. Look at that. It's not even on 1,000 now. Well, what happened? So what did... Someone hacked the channel last year, didn't it? I had to start again. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So we had to re upload everything. I had to re upload everything. I mean, remember the Jar Jar interview was gone past 100k. That's yeah, that now was... on about 7,000. Mm. The, ba wow. the Bailey ones, on, they, nothing's past. I think that only. And yet, Kid of what, what was that interview like? Yeah. Kid he's alright. I'm going to say it again. That Kid of a decent you. Mm. I think he's just gone on the wrong path and he's fucked him, innit? Because mm. everyone up on there's some, some shit. Yeah, yeah. And he's just gone down the path and I think he's he just keeps doing those lives. Because I'll be honest with you, if someone terrorised me on a live like they do him, mm. you ain't seeing me on live again. Mm. I'm gone. Yeah. But he seems to keep going back and doing them. building his name. So, yeah, but honestly, when I met him, he was all right. He's a decent guy. He, he, he ain't hyped up. He, he talks all right. Mm. He's decent. But I think it's, this internet thing will portray us different, innit? Mm. So he done, a, he done an interview on um, Bobby, that Bobby guy's page. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was talking about people were getting on to him about something. About, he said it was about a chain or something like His that. His jewellery. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, but he was, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. He was waffling still. Mm. He was waffling. He was like, my thing's silver and it blings. And I'm like, silver blings. Listen, you lot don't even have to talk. He would come on it. Yeah. He's a decent guy. If you was to holler at him, he'll come on it. Because he don't care. Yeah. So yeah. you lot could get him on Say it no. easy. Yeah. yeah we'll shout in the store. And just ask yeah. him yourself, innit? Yeah. 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 But yeah, he's all right. But I'm going to say this, like, I'm not cocky, yeah? Mm. I'm confident. Mm. But I've seen bare men that are from road or that know road guys that do interviews. Yeah. And their interviews are whack. Yeah. Because you can't tell me that you're just going to ask positive. Yeah. If I sit with you and I know your whole life, everything yeah. you've done is positive, then we're going to do that. Because that's real. Yeah. I sat with Marius. Yeah. I sat with Julian. Yeah. I sat with K.O. Kitson. These guys are all doing real stuff for you. I talk about that. I never stuck it on no one. Yeah. I never asked no fuckeries to no mm. one. Mm. But you can't sit down with a man yeah. who run any sort of block or fucked up people's lives and just let them say what they want to say. No, it's true, That's man. not a real interview. Yeah. That's just you letting them express what they want us to know. Yeah. And I've seen certain man. I just... respect that though. I respect that that you um that you come mm. at man that that have done that because you know a lot of man they don't want to that, that image. I don't want to look like that image. Yeah. 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 But you've already got that image. Mm. You might not look like it to Johnny who lives in Hertfordshire, mm. <laughs> but when you walk around your streets, the people that really know you know your image. Yeah. yeah so you know can't it. run from it. It's true. But what are you saying? And you're just trying to get the viewers out there. You don't care about where you're from. Because mm. a lot of people mm. try and make someone out in Timbuktu know that they're good. But on their block, they're still shot in the Utes. Yeah, bro. So what? I can't ask you, because guess what? I know someone on your block and he told me you're a lying motherfucker. <laughs> you see what I mean? We're not being real. Do you know what I mean? Like, ain't me. I'm a fuck up. Yeah. I've fucked up bare things in my life. Mm. But I'm not running from them. Yeah. You ask me, I'll tell you, I did that. Or yeah. that happened. Yeah. Why can't he do the same? What, is he bigger than me because he's got 10,000 followers? Fuck that. I run around the street you was on. Yeah. You get me? You wasn't nothing to me. Oh, it's a, it's a joke, guy, yeah. 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 On the last episode that we done here, we was talking about um, women stopping men from seeing their children. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I've lost two kids because of a woman. Mm. No, I say, I'm not going to say that. I say I lost two kids because of me. Mm. I ain't seen two of my kids for nearly 10 years. Wow. Not a word. I send them a card Christmas. I send them a card on their birthdays. Wow. I give them my number. Yeah. They don't want to know me. And is that because so, you reckon that the mum brainwashed her? No, nah, what I'm going to say is I fucked up. How did you fuck up? Because when I was living with her, I wasn't there. Mm. I was running around the streets. This mm. is when we was doing our thing. I was yeah. never there. She fell out of love. She wanted to hurt me. I never showed her enough love when I was with her. Mm. I bought everything. Mm. But I realised buying everything's no, nothing. No, no, Women man, want love. That's right. Yeah. We want to buy everything. Yeah. Men. Mm. We want to look good. We want to have this. We want to have that. Women don't give a fuck. Yeah. A real woman... Just wants you to sit at home and do fuck all. It's true, you Saying know. 20 years she can call you a bum. Yeah. You get me? <laughs> I'm bum, bum. That's the rule. I'm telling you.
win. You get me? You yeah. can't win. Yeah. You can't win. She wants you to sit at home and yeah. then in 20 years when she sees some guy yeah. doing good because you couldn't, yeah. she'll be on his ass and calling you a bum. Start telling you there's there's 24 hours in the day and yeah. all this shit. I'm thinking, you know, you meet me or like... You yeah. Me? But basically, me, yeah, me, I like, fucked up. Yeah. I, I chose road, running around the road over a family. Mm. And for some reason, it all went peak. She got me arrested, thrown in jail because I came to my own house, what I built, yeah. knocked on the door because she told me, bring boxes for your shit. I went to the house with the boxes. When I got there, she had an alarm on the door. What the Some hell? fed alarm shit. So me being me, I kicked the door in and went in and started going up the stairs thinking he's a new man here. Yeah. So one of us can fly out the window like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, blah, blah, blah. she called the feds. Yeah. And this is true stories because I tell you, this same bridging from Peckham yeah. was with me See. that when this happened. This is about fucking 12 years ago. And you know how mad this game is? I was not known for the artist TV hard then. I came back to the... I ran off in his car. When the feds were coming, I ran off. Yeah. Got to the top of the hill. I said, fuck that, I'm going back. I went back and a young youth come up to me. And do you know what he said to me? Are you the guy at the gigs video? Imagine that. <laughs> from last straw. Yeah. Like, yeah. Imagine yeah. that. Some little youth, are you the one at the gigs video? So anyway, after that, the feds took me and... To be honest with you, she tried to get me put away for a madness. But I'm not going to blame her because she got angry. I fucked up. Mm. I have to take responsibility. I really for that though. But that. I lost yeah. everything then. So I know about a woman. I lost everything. Yeah. I went back to my mum's and I was watching a cornflake boxer's TV. You get me? That's how deep it got. I had nothing. And there's a man in this room who knows. He saw all that. So there's no lies in that. Yeah. I was sitting there with a cornflake box with a straw on top for satellite TV room. Where you get me? Yeah. That's how I was living. I had to build it all up again. Yeah, look at that. So I know about men that can't see their kids. Mm. But a lot of times... But do you think, though, like, like, I know you blame yourself, but don't you think that she was a part of it as well, though? Like, it could be, it could still be a balance because she's calling police. Or nah, but what police. it was is what we have to realise, yeah, mm. is men are mentally strong. I mean, physically. Yeah. Women yeah. are mentally, mentally strong, yeah. They mm. can handle shit we can't. Yeah. Like, someone calls you a cunt, you want to smash his face in. Yeah. A woman gets called a cunt, she'll tell you about it ten years later. Yeah, yeah. You know, have you ever had that argument with your missus where you say, fuck you, bitch? Yeah. And then she she don't say you, a word. No, no, I and then three an years argument. later, remember when you called me a yeah, bitch? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, old and I ain't fucking remember what yeah. I called you yesterday. Don't worry about <laughs> three years ago. So it's mad because women will keep things in. Yeah. And then they'll get to a stage where it all comes together. Yeah, so, they have enough. Yeah, so they'll be thinking, right, for 10 years that cunt took the piss. Yeah. Now it's my turn. Mm. You see what I mean? And while she's doing it, you're crying like a bitch. Mm. But when you were doing it to her, you didn't give a fuck. Right, cool, but that's the situation between you and her, though. What's the children got to do with it? Though? Yeah, yeah, but this is the I'm one thing on. bad about women. Because women, without women, we're nothing. Let's be real. 100%. Big up all the women out there. 100%. All the ones that every day looking after kids yeah, while we do what man, the fuck we up, want. Man. And making the ones see their fathers. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. Big yeah. Not big up the ones that don't make the man see the father. But yeah, yeah go on. But yeah, yeah that you is the only downfall up. in women. Is mm. they all say we're never going to use the kids. And 70 to 80% of them do in one way or the other. Mm. They try and control things. And the man, the man ain't got no patience. Like, I'll be honest with you, I went caught. Cool. I went cool. I was going to a centre where I could do two hours with my kids. Oh, do you know what happened? In the end, I was weak. I said, fuck this. Mm. One day she come and she came late and she was all cocky with a woman about he better this, he better that. I said, fuck that. I never went back to the centre. Mm. So who lost? It's me who lost. Because I didn't see the kids since then. Yeah, you're she don't care. Yeah. She sees the kids every day. Yeah, but it's going to have a detrimental effect upon them. So like, Women might think now that, that, yeah, it's all cool to do that now and get away with it. But in 10 years, when, when the kids are moving mad and say, yeah, it's because of you, mum. You never made me see that. Yeah. It was yeah. your fault. Yeah. And then the, she's going to be like, no, it wasn't your daddy. Gonna say, Don't lie, mum. I'm not dumb anymore. And then yeah. she's going to have to deal with that trauma now for the rest yeah. of her life until she dies. That yeah. she has to deal with that. So. But my ones are big boys now. Like, they could come say what they want to say. Yeah, They're but not. do you reckon that the mum kind of brainwashed them? Yeah, though? but then what can you say? Because you're not a bad guy. If I, like, like, well, that, this is like, what I'm saying. Me, like, I, as, as I've known, you've always loved your kids, bro. Yeah. You've always been there for your kids. So, it's the mum, innit? Like, yeah, your dad done this, your dad done that. Or oh, where is he now? Da, da, da. But you're going through your emotions. And like you said, because we're men, innit? It's like, fun this, da, da, da. But yeah. these dumb men love... 
the, the, the yeah, love but that I want to make sure you children. know I did do a lot of dirty things. I don't want to hide from things. Like I was doing madnesses, like mm. you know, cheating and shit. You get me? I thought. But I was... like I said again, I'm gonna go back to that. whatever you've done with her. That's yeah. between you two. Yeah, 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 like yeah, I said, yeah. no matter the what, no matter what, yeah. you, whatever yeah. a man's done with a woman and they can't get along anymore, mm. that's between them two. Yeah. The children should never ever have to deal with. Yeah. I I have to lose someone because of an action that someone else done. But you see how selfish yeah. it is on both parties. Does it make sense? Yeah. On both yeah, parties. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think no matter what, the children should always be the priority that should be getting looked at. And if the woman thinks that by her making you not see the children, she's hurting you. She's really hurting the children. In the yeah, because like yeah. you say, it has a mental effect. I mean, I, let's be real. I talked to you about my childhood. Mm. My stepdad was a fucker. Mm. He was a nasty little teeth. Mm. He brought me up seeing things that I didn't need to see. And now they've had an effect on me. Mm. He kind of made me angry in what I am. Yeah. Like, he tried to murder me a couple times when I was a youth. What? Listen, it's mad. One Yo. time, this motherfucker sold me a car when I was just learning to drive. The car had no brakes. I've got in the car and I'm Whoa. driving down the road with my mum. And the only reason the fucker's driving next to us in his car is because my mum was in the car. He's shouting there's no brakes on the car. What? I'm like, hold on, you cocksucker. You're trying to get man dead. Whoa. I, I had, do you know the thing when you have to pump the brakes because the brake goes straight down? Yeah. Yeah. So you had to pump the brakes yeah, yeah. to turn it into the, into the curb. He was going to try and murder me. But because my mum was in the car, he didn't want to murder her as well. Imagine that. Next time I was living on Swanbourne, you know, in Haygate. Haygate Estate in um, Elephant. Okay, you know, they had the flats where you got the little... They knocked them down, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, They got the little cupboard outside. They're like a cubby old cupboard. My man put a gun in there. Tried to send the feds to my house to say I had a gun. Whoa. This is how deep it got. So I know about fucked up parents. He was a scumbag. But when he got and I got older, I nearly killed the cunt in the. I was in um, Wilcox Close, the surgery, and he was in there with my sisters that I don't talk to. Yeah. And he tried to say some shit to my mum. I swear to God, the fucker. He was blood was coming out his mouth as I was strangling the cunt on the floor. But the fucking they're about three of them stopped me. I mm. tumped out his face, and when I see him again. I want what he owes me. <laughs> but yeah, you get me? That's, I've you seen get it. That's what I'm saying. I can't be running from no cunt. I've seen guns and knives. Yeah, Some cunts... Up. i got bear cuts on me where I've had gun um, stabbings. Someone stabbed, punched me. Someone hit me in the head with a hammer once when mm. I was younger. I went to fight some youths. One of them had a hammer. So these things have happened Normal. before I ever picked up a camera. You get me? Yeah, so why am I running nice. from someone who talks gun work, but yeah. he ain't really ever done it? Oh, real talk. It's all bollocks. Don't know about all that life. broken family shit. Mm. But so on the other side, I'll say on the I'm glad you did bring that up because mm. big up to my sons. Yeah, I love up, you. Man. I don't care if I don't see you for 30 years. That's right. Dad loves you and he always did. That's right. So big up to Danny and Jordan. Yeah. And Danny and um Jordan. And big up to my new boys, Mason and Oscar. Jeez. And to their mum, Faye, you get me? Doing a brilliant job with her and my daughter Sydney. Big up to all of them, because she's a real woman. Every day we're there with the kids doing their thing. Do you think that after you have kids that you don't see, when you have kids after, you want to be in that life a little bit more? That make up I do thing. see it, but to mm. be honest with you, I can't stand the hard work. That's the real talk. Like, when I see the kids doing their madnesses, i got to get out of there. <laughs> you get me? You see what the noise on there. Uh, I'll say much. it again. Big up to Faye all day long. <laughs> Because, you know, like, they're just nuts with it. I can't yeah, do it, mate. I've got to worry about myself. I'm getting old out here. You know, you get all them lines in your face and that because yeah. of the kids. I'm off. Yeah. But, yeah, I do see it. Like, I love being around them, but yeah. I just can't handle it 24-7, seven days a week. Fuck all that, mate. I'm off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, real, 